Alright. It's been hit. That's good news. Okay, it is Tuesday and uh, we've got four baits out. We have worked our tails off cutting baits in. Three of the four just took um, a lot of effort cutting into the trails with uh, chainsaw and nippers and anything that we had along that would work. Now most of it I would walk ahead of the four-wheeler and Virgil would come along behind as I cut trees up into pieces and opened the way in the trails and then Virgil would uh, toss the trees and, and small trees and big logs and whatever uh, that I would cut up to get into these baits. Three of the four were just brutal but uh so we're out this morning checking uh trail cameras and so far i've checked two and one was hit really hard the other one was not hit and the conditions have been pretty poor three out of the four days well all three of the first three days there was some rain yesterday afternoon got a little better so we were hoping that the bears would move pretty good got cold last night down to about 30 and that's uh, chilly sleeping in a tent. But uh, so today's a, the only really nice day of the week that's in the forecast. Unfortunately, Eddie is now 0 for 5 on where he is time and place of where he's going to meet us to give us the paperwork and sign the permits for us to actually hunt. Um I do know from the Ministry of Natural Resources that he picked up the permits yesterday. And he was supposed to meet us yesterday evening, and he did not show up. So um, we're kind of at a point here where, you know, we're checking these trail cameras, and if there's something that we really, really want to hunt, um, we're, we're going to continue to try to pursue him and find him and get those permits from him. And... Uh, you know, if there just isn't much on the baits, I think we're just going to pack up and go home because uh, tomorrow and the next day, they're predicting rain again all day. And then the day after that, they're predicting snow, uh, rain mixed with snow. So uh, it's very unfortunate. I, I never dreamed this hunt would turn out as it has, but um, there it's just out of our control. We've done everything that we can. And if we get the permits, we can still hunt. Um, unfortunately, you know, we could have went fishing, we could have put more baits out, but when he says, I'm, I'm going to come and meet you and we sit there for hours and wait for him, we've wasted all that time that we could have been doing some of the other things, but we just didn't feel like we should go out in the boat and try to fish when he says he's coming. So, uh, yeah, it's bizarre and very unfortunate, but that's where we're at. So the next update, uh, I'll uh, I'll let you know if uh, if we have permits in hand and uh, or if we're headed home. I really don't know which that's going to be at this point. It sounds like it's kind of a 50-50 deal. Well, Virgil just got back here with the last uh, trail camera, and um, this is going to go down in the history of vlogs for my deer and bear hunting as the most bizarre vlog that I've ever done and we're going home because uh, we don't have uh, the permits signed for us to hunt. We got four baits out, we worked our tails off, and uh, Eddie's AWOL, and uh, he's 0 for 5 in promises of where and when to meet us. He just doesn't show up, and we do know from the Ministry of Natural Resources that he picked up his, he picked up the permits yesterday, but he promised us he was going to uh, bring them last night and sign them so we could hunt and he didn't show up again that was the fifth and final strike on him but it's a beautiful day today i'm sure the bears are really going to move tonight and it's been horrible for bear movement but tonight would be the night and uh, we got four baits out and unfortunately none of them got hit we had two of them we thought had got hit but uh, apparently crows and ravens and and uh, vultures and everything they are able to get inside those barrels and and scoop stuff out because that's all we got pictures of on the camera but anyway it's a beautiful place i've been here many many times and probably 
this is the last. So, I mean, if you got ideas of anything we maybe could have done different or whatever, it's, uh, I don't know, you leave them in the comments, but, you know, two things that really hurt about this and, and the fact that I'm not bear hunting is just one of the smaller things. The biggest one is watching a friend of yours basically drive his whole life off into the ditch. Another one is these guys from Tennessee that came up here and they had a $2,000 deposit in, they brought their wives, they drove 1,300 miles, rented a resort cabin, and they're not even able to hunt. And so, very unfortunate for them too. And uh, I, I cannot explain, it does not add up that he wouldn't just bring these permits by and we've all got handfuls of cash to give him for, for this. And uh, it, uh, it doesn't make any sense. But it is what it is, so we're headed home. Thanks for tagging along, and uh, we will see you on the next video.